Okay, I've really kicked it up a notch this time. Hey, there we can see we've got monomial denominators again. Two values in the denominator. Which means I can definitely not distribute. There was one value, there was one term I could distribute, but I've got two terms in the denominator. Okay, which means I am going to have to factorize. Okay. I'm going to have to factorize. Always start with the same thing. Common factor. Can we take out a 3 out of out of the numerator? Yes, look at that. 3 can divide into there, into there, and into there. So in the numerator, I can take out a 3. Let's first do that. Don't go and try and do these steps in your head. Okay, Divide every term with a 3. Write down that step. Don't be too arrogant. How about the denominator? Can we take out a common factor in the denominator? Well, indeed we can. 3 can divide into 3. Can 3 divide into 48? Let's say 4 plus 8 is 12. Can 3 go into 12? Well, 1 plus 2 is 3. Yes, it can. So 3 can divide into both. What do I have left over? 3. I'm left with an x squared. 48, negative 48 divided by 3. And you can check me, gives me 16. Now I'm not done yet. If I factorize, I factorize completely. Okay, go the whole nine yards because nothing can cancel here. Um, is it true? No, it's not true. I can already get rid of the threes. Why? Because how many terms do I have in the numerator? I've got one term. But the moment I cancel that three, look what I'm left with. X cubed. I don't need the brackets anymore. Minus seven x plus twelve over x squared minus 16. I had the bracket because the 3 would multiply back in. So there I go again. I still have many terms and no factors. So we're going to have to factorize further. Let's see. The numerator can go into two brackets, can it? Let's see. Can it? Into an x and an x. The plus tells me the signs must be the same and both must be a negative. So negative and a negative. The 12 tells me what? Can I multiply to get 12? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 4 times 3, and uh, all over again. And I must add them to get 7. So that would be this one, 3 and 4. And since the brackets are the same, concerning signs, one would be a 3, one would be a 4. And then x squared plus 16. Oh, I do hope you saw that difference of two squares. There's a difference, a minus, of 2, 1, 2, 2 terms, squares. x squared and 4 squared gives me 16. So I get x plus x minus 4, 4. And this, your mind will start seeing these things if you just do enough examples. I can see, nice. I've got two brackets that are exactly the same. There's one term in the numerator, one term in the denominator, because I don't care about what's inside the brackets for now. Okay. To count the terms, I count how many pluses and minuses outside the bracket. None, which means there's just one term in the numerator, one term in the denominator. And when those two terms, two factors cancel, two brackets cancel, then I'm left, sorry, I'm in this left with x minus 3 in the numerator, x plus 4 in the denominator. See what the time, 29 minutes. Oh, okay, 29 minutes. So let's test my original answer with a 29. Okay, so I've got 29 squared minus 7 times 29 plus 12 over 29 squared minus 16. By the way, again, I'm just doing this to illustrate it. You never have to do this, but it is a good way of just checking your answer. 29 squared minus 7 times 29 equals plus 12. So here I get 650, and in the denominator I get 29 squared minus 16. 825. Here we go. And let's see what answer do I get here in the denominator. I get 
29 minus 3 and 29 plus 4 which means I get 26 over 30 26 over 33 and you'll see there would never well mm, I doubt it I doubt if there would be factors that can cancel and make it simpler but let's see if we get the same answers using our calculator 650 divided by 825 and I get 0 0.787878 and what is 26 divided by 33 0.787878 so indeed what I have here uh, at least I've got a little bit of evidence it's not really proof but it's just showing I have what I had in the numerator oh I for forgot about the original one I actually plugged in a little bit late I should have used the 29 in here but still it's okay in every step if I would have substituted a 3 in every step I would have gotten the same answer 0 0.787878 and that was fun for me I hope you do enjoy doing some too